This is actually where the venom is stored. Sniffing my finger? Don't bite me. Just kidding, he's not gonna bite me. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, I'm sure you can see right here, I am accompanied by a beautiful and chunky captive bred Gila monster. Now, this belongs to a good friend of mine, and we are able to take this guy out and hang out with him today. Now, this is the only species of venomous lizard in North America. I mean, technically, if you don't count Mexico. <laughs> um, but in the United States, this is our only species of venomous lizard. Now what's super, super cool is that these guys share an ancient lineage, which relates them to the monitor lizards, and they are kind of connected at the Borneo earless monitor level. Unlike venomous snakes, <laughs> I know you're, you're, you're wanting to go and explore. See him flashing that tongue? That is actually one of the main ways that these animals kind of get around. He's taking in all sorts of information into an advanced olfactory system to help him pick up signals about food, perhaps mates, maybe even predators in the area. Now come and take a look at this animal's mouth. You see those large kind of jowls underneath the jaw right here? This is actually where the venom is stored. This is a rudimentary a salivary gland that also acts as a venom gland, and this is where the venom is secreted. Now what happens is these animals don't have hollow teeth or fangs like a venomous snake. They've got just normal lizard teeth. So how they inject their venom is they grab onto a prey item and then they chew and chew and chew and hold onto it and work up that saliva into the wound of the animal, eventually envenomating it. Now these animals, as you can see, are pretty slow moving, uh, but they're quite successful in their natural range. Mostly what these are eating is they're raiding like rodent and bird nests, eating baby defenseless mammals and birds. Uh, so they do pretty well. Uh, it's not like they're running over vast distances to catch something uh, in a quick manner, like uh, their larger cousins, the monitor lizards. Um, but, you know, they fill their little niche. Take a look at this beautiful, beautiful lizard. So you can find these in the southwest part of the United States. I know, I know. And even ranging up into Utah. So common areas where you can find these would be like Arizona, uh, Utah. <laughs> so these are really, really cool lizards. Now you can take a look at these scales. So their close cousin, the Mexican beaded lizard, also in the same genus, Heloderma, has these same bead-like scales. Absolutely beautiful scale structure. You can take a look at all these really nice kind of reticulated patterns. <laughs> he looks so frumpy. He's like, what is going on? Now, obviously in the wild, these animals are much more defensive. This one's been in captivity for his whole life. So he knows I'm not going to eat him. So he doesn't really care about being handled. Obviously, you want to take care with Gila monsters, um, but really, if you get bitten, <laughs> it's pretty much just a bad day. You're not gonna really be in life-threatening danger. It's just gonna hurt really bad. But this guy's a little frumpy. His name is Waffles. And it looks like he's eaten a little too many waffles. He's got quite the belly on him. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Gila monster. Once again, Heloderma suspectum. I know, cutie. What a beautiful animal. He's really chill. He's cooperating with us quite well today. This is about full size. Unlike the Mexican beaded lizard, which gets, you know, maybe three or four feet sometimes, with even some of the other species of beaded lizard reaching lengths of five or six feet, um, Gila monsters usually max out around 20, 24 inches. Uh, most around that 18-inch mark. 
<laughs> he's like, there's so much new stuff I want to smell. So he's just letting me know he's a little upset. But as you can see, that's really the only kind of, of stimulus uh, that he's exerting to let me know that he's feeling upset. He's not gaping. He's not thrashing around. He's just like, okay, can we be done? But how cool is that? What a cool, cool, cool animal. Hello, Waffles. Sniffing my finger? Don't bite me. Just kidding, he's not gonna bite me. Probably not. Like I said, he's been in captivity for a long, long, long time. He's not really interested in wasting his venom on anything other than a nice, juicy rat or mouse. <laughs> Look at him, take a look at that face. Isn't that just a beautiful, beautiful face? A face a mother and anyone could love. Oh, cute baby, cute baby boy. I know, you're okay. I don't wanna be like choking you, but you're kinda of just flopping into my hands that way. Beautiful, girthy, little sweet baby. Burp him a little bit. No, he's doing such a good job. Such a good lizard. Look at him. So sweet. So sweet. Love you, buddy. Well, we had a great time with this super cool Gila monster. I hope you guys learned some new stuff. Let me know what your favorite fact about Gila monsters was in the comments of this video. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to see more of these really cool and unique animal experiences that I can bring you guys. So like, comment, share, of course subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything else. I've also got a new line of merch, which may or may not have released by the point of this video. If it has, check in the description of this video to find that link to get that new merchandise. But Waffles thanks you, and I thank you for watching. Keep on watching, and thank you very much.